said, for I know I've had enough of cabbages, kings, and sealing wax, and all that silly stuff. I want to talk of Hollywood and the excitement that it brings, with its gorgeous girls and sunken baths, and those other crazy things. Temperature okay. Bring on the body. And for what? To take a bath? No, 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 and no. I, I know, Miss Dee Dee, but, but we... No more Miss Dee Dee's but! Or anything else. Let me... Miss Dee Dee's but! No more bubble pepper! Anything! No! No more bubble pepper! No more bubble pepper! No more bubble pepper! The usual did it, Antrim. What's wrong, my little shoo shoo? You liar and cheat! Oh, what troubles, my little pussycat? Tell your paper, will you? Tell your paper, tell your paper. You promised that when we came to Hollywood that I could be a big dramatic star and no more bubble baths. But, my little rabbit, you know the big scenes will come later. You know paper never lies. Pepe never lies. For five years he promised to marry me. For five years. So it's that again now, eh? Aren't we happy as we are? No. Why do you want to destroy our success? Marriage will ruin you. Who knows that better than I do? What happens when a star marries director? Hmm? Exactly what happened to all my wives. Instantly. They get fat. Diddy does not get fat and Diddy does not... Take a bubble bath! Oh, come, come now. Let's discuss this calmly, eh? Do you really think Pepe likes this? How do you think I feel when everyone sees your beautiful body in the bath? It tears my heart out. Oh. Oh. You know Pepe thinks only of you. Then why did you put the bath back in the picture? The producer says you take a bath, that's why. So, so I stand up to him. And I tell him, my Didi will take no more baths. <laughs> so the producer says no bath, no picture. Then I holler at him. Okay, no picture. The producer hollers. Then I holler again. That's no use. He hollers louder. But I made an agreement. You take the bath. You made an agreement, eh? Then you take the bath! Who discovered you, huh? Who made you the divine deity? I! I made myself the divine deity! Oh, you did, eh? Yes. Maybe you helped a little bit. What were you when I picked you up in Marseille? A dirty little beggar chasing GIs in the street for cigarettes. Oh! Miserable, you! You know that I am of royal blood. 
blood. Everybody knows that Diddy comes from a noble line. You came from a noble line, all right. A noble line a sailor gave your foolish mother. Oh, you'd still be a dirty little beggar if I didn't give you your first bat. And you are going to take this bat. Right now. I'll teach you. Now we start. Now, actor, you. I want you to go into the bathroom and uh, act surprise. You see this strange, beautiful girl in the tub, but you do not recognize her. Mr. You understand? Leave me alone. But she's you getting out of the tub. Know her. I'm going to drown her. Folks, this is Mr. Titus Zeal of Abbott's Butte, Oregon. Now, Mr. Zeal, you say the divine Dee Dee stopped here? She sure did, and I ain't forgetting it. You're quite sure now. Oh, it was her, all right. She had a pizza and a Coke, and then got mad because I didn't have no champagne. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I guess it's pretty obvious that the Divine One is hiding out someplace here in Oregon. When she lets me know where she is, I'll let you know. Boys here. I should start an avalanche. What's so funny? They just had a commercial for a waist pincher that's guaranteed to make your body 36, 26, 36, or double your money back. Why am I gonna be rich? Well, forget it. That offer's open to girls only. Where's my wife? Down at the beauty parlor doing what comes unnaturally. At this hour, the beauty parlor? That's just what I need. No, that's just what I need. I've been banned for life. Do you realize you're looking at a three-time loser? Drowning your troubles? No, I'm teaching them to swim. All right, what'd you do? Blow another deal on that Lake Nothing property. It's still gonna sell, and it's still gonna be a summer resort that's gonna make me rich. No, some resort, one house. Even the ducks won't go up there for the summer. Can I help it if everybody built at the other end of the lake? Besides, that's a selling point. Some people prefer seclusion. That's not seclusion, that's banishment. Why don't I fire you? I know, my psychiatrist explained it. I dig pain. I'll tell you why. Guilt. You let me sink my life savings into that no-taker's acres up there. Five hundred dollars. That wouldn't build a path to the telephone booth. Don't worry, you'll get your money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> 
why has the president declared it a disaster area? Come to think of it, why did I hire you in the first place? Why didn't I just slash my wrists? When do we eat? I'm starved. When your wife gets home. I gotta have a little hors d'oeuvre, I'll tell you that. I'm really hungry. Hey, you forgot the ice cubes. What are they doing to my wife that takes so long? Teasing her follicles? I don't know. Beauty parlors, yeah. I do my own. So that's why we couldn't find the egg beater. I better call her. Tell her if that chicken dries out anymore, it'll be a fire hazard. Hang on a minute, honey. Hotel Albion. Beauty parlor? Yes, sir. Had nice beauty salon. Mrs. Mead, please. This is Mr. Mead. Just a moment, please. Your husband is on the phone, Mrs. Mead. Oh, dear, it's so late. Well, you would mix wine and beer. <laughs> Well, I'll say one thing for you. Oh, honey, hold on. Hotel Albion. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, dear. Oh. 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 Hello? 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 Huh? You got misconnected. <laughs> you ought to see me. <laughs> hold on, everybody. Now, let's see. You with the janitor. And you were the kitchen. And you had somebody upstairs. And you, well, you are just going to have to take your chances. Okay, so you don't know me, but I'm secret agent 007 of 38 who tracked you down, so get your lovely little chassis back home here fast or I'll paint your gold. I cut the phony routine. <laughs> but I do not understand. Oh, come on, drop it. You always were a lousy actress. Oh, lousy actress, huh? Well, I'll tell you, there's only one man in this world who would dare to call Didi a lousy actress, and that is Pepe. Peppy? You tell him that Diddy will never come back to Hollywood. Never. And the next time Diddy hides, he won't find her. Not with a thousand bloodhounds. Hey, wait a minute. I, I got a hunch I'm not talking to the beauty parlor. Beauty parlor? But of course this is not the beauty parlor, stupid. This is, wait a minute. This is Sweet C. Dee Dee? No, 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 monsieur. C. C. I I mean, uh, Sweet C. Sweet C. Uh, you're her. You're that dame. The biggest thing in bathtubs since rings. Hey, it says you're kidnapped. Uh, no, monsieur. No, not really. You see, please, monsieur, take pity on me. Please. You see, I ran away from Hollywood because they tried to make me do things in my new movie. Things that are just terrible. More than in your last picture? Oh, those beasts. When's it opening? You mean you have uh, seen my pictures? Well, I've never missed a one. I love educational movies. Uh, well, then you, you're my friend, huh? Well, 
Yeah, I... I mean, uh, uh, what do you mean? But, monsieur, I need you. You must help me. You see, I'm all alone here in a strange place with no one to talk to, no one to turn to. Just you. Just you. Will you bring me some food? Well, yes. Bring it to your hotel room? Oh. <laughs> well, I... I don't know. I... Oh, monsieur. It is like when I was a little girl after the war in the streets begging for food. And my poor little body was wasting away from such little food to eat. Well, it sure went to the right places. Never again did I think I would be so hungry, so hungry. But of course, if you don't help me, then... How do you like it on white or rye? Oh, so you will help me. Oh, it's so good to have a friend in this world. What is your name, monsieur? Oh, it's Mead. Tom Mead. I'm in the phone book, in the yellow pages, under chicken. Wait a minute. Don't, don't you call me. But, but of course not, monsieur Tom Mead. I understand. But uh, you will come to my hotel room tonight, won't you? Well, I, uh... Honey, I'd just be taking her a little lousy nourishment. Look, I don't know if I can swing it. I... Please say yes, Monsieur Tommy, please. It's chilly and I'm all naked. Well, what do you know? Somebody's been spiking his wheat germ. Well, look, I... You gotta realize my wife expects a certain amount of my time, too. But of course I understand. But what about me? All right, on second thought. Tom, darling. On third thought, goodbye, Sam. Oh, honestly, I got home as quickly as I could. And I love you. Your second drink? I mean, I love your hair, whatever they did with it. They washed it. It's not your third. Have a bite. You do look a little flushed. Well, that's oven burn. I've been going steady with a charred chicken. Poor darling. We'll eat in two shakes. And I'm sorry I kept my baby waiting so long. Hi, everybody. Gee, Mom, you look real groovy. Gee, Dad, you look real beat. There it is. Wow, is she ever copious. Watch your language. They're not real. They can't be. Uh, uh, that's enough of that. Go do your homework. What is it? Imagine that in a family newspaper. Mm. Do you think she's dead? No. Go call your brother for dinner. Hm. That one they'll find in a hotel with somebody. Somebody's husband. <coughs> I think I inhaled an olive. Oh, come on, let's not keep Lily waiting. She thinks my head is nothing but a crystal ball. Sorry, you'll have to get on somebody else's chow line. What do you want for dessert, Tiger? The breakfast of champions? Boy, everybody goes to see Didi movies. Why not me? Because you're not old enough. Well, I'm old enough. Why can't I go? Because I'm not old enough to take you. Let's end the discussion, please. Really, Mother? You're so inhibited. Do you want me to grow up thinking there's something wrong with sex? What? Don't look at me. I'm still shocked from copious. It's just what you like, hot chicken. But it's important for me to see a D.D. movie. I gotta know what's going on in the world for current events in school. Who's your current events teacher, Lady Chatterley? Never mind, Dee Dee. Stick to Bugs Bunny. Uh-uh. Onions in it. Put you right out of business. They said she was absolutely naked when she ran out of the studio. Gee, imagine being a movie star. Doris! I'm going to write to that newspaper. 
Will everybody please change the subject? I don't want to hear another word about poor hungry Dee Dee. Poor hungry Dee Dee? Hmm? Why'd you call her poor and hungry? I did? Oh, you probably misunderstood me. What I said was, poor hungry daddy. Well, I'd still like to know one thing. When will I be old enough to wear nothing like that? Never. that tomato. Gee, usually by this time of the meal, I can come in here without a whip and a chair. What's the matter with you? Who, me? Hold on. You're not eating. Oh, I'm resting. Is there something wrong with the chicken? The chicken's just roasted. He's stewed. This whole room's going around. I think on the next turn, I'll get off and go lie down. I hope he hasn't been working too hard. He's been doing something too hard. Murder me with kisses. Oh. Pieces. Rip me, baby. Let my pulse run wild. Make my mirror, run mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Ah, shut up. Who asked you anyway? Big Daddy's excuse. Excuse for what? It happens to be my refrigerator, remember? Why don't you go haunt another part of the house? Sort of a midnight picnic? Yeah, I'm cheating on my diet, and I'm just going out to eat it. Doesn't everybody? I just happen to have a yen. Those still waters, do they run deep? Hmm? Where's Mrs. Mead? Mrs. Mead? She's your wife. So all that's for the boys? Or is it the birds? Just a bite while we play poker. You won't tell Martha, will you? Don't worry. My lips are sealed. And good luck at the game. Whatever it is. Maria! I mean, see you later. Ciao.
Who is? It's me, the man with the wrong number. It's okay. Oh. Well, it's not okay, but it's me. You, Monsieur Tommy? No names, please. I brought the goodies. Are you sure you need them? Oh, I'm I picked up a paper, too. Your studio is sure somebody's holding you. Oh, that's wonderful. Apples, pizza, and bread, and tomatoes, and chicken. Yeah, I left out the gravy. I didn't want to leave a trail from my house to your room. Oh, this is wonderful, Monsieur Tommy. Thank you very, very much. This is a feast. <laughs> yeah, I just had the dessert. Well, bon appetit. Mmm. This is delicious. You know, they had nothing to eat since yesterday but one glass of water. Oh, you poor undernourished kid. My ribs are showing. Feel them. No, <laughs> I'd have to have a note for my doctor. <laughs> oh, Didi likes you. You like Didi? Maybe you'd like to see a picture of my wife. Oh, yes. I'll go home and get it. Oh, no, no, but you must eat with Didi. It's no good to eat alone. When you're here, my appetite is much bigger. Yeah, and that's getting to be my problem, so I better run along. But no, 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 Monsieur Tomid. I'm all alone here and I have nobody to talk to and nobody to turn to. And your eyes, they're, they're so full of warmth and kindness. That's panic and terror. Oh, come on, Monsieur Tomid. We have a little party, huh? A party? But who could we invite? Well, nobody. Just us. Come on. And sit down. There. I feed you. Um, there. You know, every time I start a picture, I have a party with my leading men. And Pepe hates my leading men. You know, he always wants to kill them. Kill them? <laughs> well, he must keep pretty busy. Oh, Pepe is terrible. You know, he hounds me. I ran away before, but he always found me. And he'll find me this time, too. Yeah, well, that sounds like real true love. The kind you can read on any good coroner's report. If only there was some place where I could hide. You know, some place where nobody would recognize me. Some place all alone. You mean something like a two-bedroom with bath vacation villa? Not 35 minutes from the center of town, very secluded, ideal for a honeymoon couple. No down payments, you don't have to be a veteran. You sound like advertising. I've got just the spot for you. Up there, you're as good as lost. In fact, I have a shirt up there somewhere. Where is this place? Well, look, you go right down the main road until you come to a bridge. And across the bridge, there's a turnoff, and you see a sign that says Crystal Lake. You follow the lakeshore ro road up about five miles until you come to a cabin on top of a bluff. The key is under the first port step, and what a view. All you can see for miles and miles is miles and miles. But what about the food, Monsieur Tomid? Oh, there's a deep freeze. It just has everything. It has orange juice, chicken, steaks, a noisy motor. Oh, I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> Monsieur Tomid, you freed the slave. You know, I don't think this is what Lincoln had in mind, but, honey, everything will be all right up. You'll be safe up there, and this way we can do something for each other. But of course, Monsieur Tomid. Yeah, but, honey, I don't think we're on the same beam. I mean, you're reading me, but I'm not even sending. If you want me up there all by myself in the wilderness, okay. What if something goes wrong? Well, everything's practically new, except the water pipes hum a little, but they're on key. I don't think anything will go wrong. But what if I meet some wild animals? Well, they just have to take their chances. No, Monsieur Tomid. What if something really should go wrong? Will you call me? Call me at uh, Pomeroy... Uh... Have you got a pen or a pencil? Lipstick will do. Uh -huh. Well, call me at Pomeroy 41... No, I better make it the office number. After all, this is business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call me at Pomeroy 368. Pomeroy 
three, six, eight. Now, Monsieur Tomini, what can Didi do for you? You're doing it. I'm giving you a place to hide, and you're giving me the place where Didi was hiding. You wash my back, I wash yours. Oh. Oh, no, no, that's just an old business saying, like, you know, a bird in the hand is... Now, forget it. After you leave, it'll be a summer resort that'll make me a fortune. After I leave? Yeah, visit Dee Dee's hideaway. Stay where Dee Dee stayed. Dee Dee slept here. Dee Dee even bathed here. I'll turn the bathroom into a shrine. Oh, this is wonderful, Monsieur Tomit. This way we help each other. And Pepe will never find me. Yeah, Pepe. Hey, what about this Pepe? I'm not afraid of Pepe. Well, that makes one of us. No, I mean, he says here that he what is the... What does Pepe say there again? Fearful over the fate of his star, the divine Didi, famed European film director Pepe Peponi, his handsome features revealing the strain of three sleepless nights. Oh. His handsome features, his three sleepless nights. Well, what about me? Huh? All he ever cares about is himself. His studio, his picture. Lies, lies, lies. Well, what he probably meant I was... I know what he meant. His money he meant. His big box office he meant. No. That's all he ever cares about me. Well, he must have so some... Don't you defend him, you. No, I was only saying... But of course, you're a man, too. And you always are together, aren't you, huh? Yeah. Oh, no, I've never even met him. And my insurance company wants to keep it that way. You just want to take her what you can get from her. That's what you want her for. No, I just brought the chicken. Of course. So you can have me stay in this house of yours. So you could exploit me, take advantage of me, and make money on me, just like Pepe. You're all alike. Men, men, men! Oh, take it easy, honey. You'll break something, and it's hard to get parts. You don't care. You don't care what a woman thinks, what she feels, the tenderness she has in her, in her little heart. Well, you just take your chicken and your tomatoes, your apples and your bread and your cake and your chicken leg and you, 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 you man! Thank you. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> Those Europeans, why do they have to talk with their hands? What am I mad at Monsieur Tomit for? It's Pepe I hate you! Pepe miserable, you! Monsieur Tomit! Monsieur Tomit! Monsieur Tomit! Please, Monsieur Tomit, I want to apologize. <gasps> the divine Didi appeared to be unharmed and in good health. Before the police could arrive, however, the vanishing Venus was on the run again, eluding pursuit in her high-powered car. She was last reported moving south on Highway 99. Stay tuned to this channel for latest reports. Turn on you. It's like it was a thief. I am no thief. Everyone has got the right to run away if they want to. It's a free country. Not so loud. How did that get up to my eyes so fast? Well, how's Old Faithful this morning? <laughs> Had a rough night. Did you say rough or rough? Down, Fido. Come on now. You weren't really out playing poker last night with the boys. Is that so strange? No, but I think one of the boys is. What's this? Oh, I hope it's blood. Your wife sees it, it will be. Now, where would that come from? You tell me, hot lips. 
Will you stop trying to get a piece of the alimony? It's just an innocent little smudge, that's all. You know, I believe you. How's that for lying? You can imagine anything you want, but do me a favor. Don't imagine them in front of that maid next door. She's the fastest mouth in the West. Look, boss, I didn't mean it if I implied anything about last night. But how do you want your eggs? Poached, fried, or raw? Scramble like your head. Morning, Lily. Morning. Good morning, dear. Be careful. Papa Bear hasn't had his porridge yet. Well, you did have quite a night last night, didn't you, dear? Me? You referring to me? The way you were talking in your sleep. What about? Dee Dee. Dee Dee? <laughs> Imagine a guy dreaming baby talk. I, I wasn't smiling, was I? No. And what are you worried about? He wasn't walking in his sleep last night, too, was he? Oh! What happened? Well, she had her mouth open and tripped over. That must have been some dream. But don't worry, darling. If you dream something, I can't hold it against you. I'm not going to answer that. Just spare me the detail. You can tell me. Oh, yeah, I remember. I dreamt I found her. It was a crazy dream. It must have been those awful headlines. Yeah, it must have been that awful chicken I was served here at Heartburn and Go-Go. Do you want me to make it again tonight? She was here. Here. Dee Dee was here. Where? Where? Oh, not here, Daddy. At the hotel. They almost caught her, but she got away. Doris, go get your brother and tell him to finish his cocoa. Larry, come finish your cocoa! I said get him. Don't scream for him. I could do that. She's gone, huh? Well, after last night, at least she could have called and said goodbye. <laughs> Evidently, the dream wasn't that good. Hey, this has got a skin on it. Hey, why can't I have coffee? Coffee? You want to stay awake in class? There's your bus! Oh. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mom. Bye. Bye, Mom. Bye. Bye, Dad. Oh, 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 wait, wait. Come on. Quick. Don't you take my seat on the Why is it when those kids leave every morning, it's like taking off a tight girdle? Wasn't that the front door? Could be. It had a familiar ring. Aren't you going to answer it? Me? Look, let's get something straight about this master-servant relationship. I am the master. You are the slave. Boy, what a chicken outfit. I know how she is, but I don't know what I'd do without her. I'd like to find out. You want to see Mr. Mead? Well, who will I say is calling? Just get Mr. Mead. Uh-huh. Bet this is going to be the type who starts yelling for his lawyer. Or starts quoting the Constitution all wrong. Two guys to see you, Master. Did they say who they were? Look, I opened the door, didn't I? Yeah, but you didn't keep going. Mr. Mead? Yes? Police officers. Oh, well, nice of you to drop in. How much are the raffle tickets? You recognize this? What? What's it look like? Like you lost your lunch. I mean the phone number? In lipstick. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's not my brand. You want to tell us about it? Hey, by George, that is my number. How did it get on an old bag? This was no old bag. We found it on the dame's couch. Dame's couch? Oh, you're liable to find my number under every couch in town. <laughs> it's a tough racket, real estate. This uh, Dee Dee Broad, the one who's missing, she left in her hotel room. A mysterious stranger was seen sneaking down the back stairs. You that mysterious stranger? Me, a stranger? Don't be silly. I'd know me anywhere. Now, look, this is a very important person and she's missing. She shows up here and then beats it, leaving your phone number under her couch? We want to know why. Yeah, I thought maybe you could fill us in on a few of the blanks. Oh, not me. The last time I did that, I got drafted. Are you telling us you don't know this, Dee Dee? Oh, that's not a fair question. After you've seen one of her pictures, you know her. Okay, try this one. What were you doing last night, say, about 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock. Oh, yes, I remember. 
I remember I had a very rough day, so I decided to take a little walk, you know, to work off a little tension. My husband is telling the absolute truth, and I can verify it. Besides, the whole thing is ridiculous. Maybe some men are capable of such things, but after 18 years, don't you think I know my own husband? That's right. Who knows a husband better than his own wife? I think this one's going to be rough. Now, just a minute. Here it comes. You two come barging into my house, making insinuations in front of my wife and casting doubts on my unblemished character before the hired help. I happen to be a law-abiding, upstanding member of this community, and I consider your coming here and making me go through this an unjustified invasion of my secrets, uh, privacy. You still haven't told us what she was doing with your phone number. What are you getting at? I'm in the real estate business. I sell plots. I don't dream them up. Maybe she saw one of my ads, you know, living room, bedroom, three baths. I think this has gone far enough. You're coming here and saying these impossible things. I agree. I don't see her with him. What a pair, Dee Dee and Dodo. Well, uh, sorry we bothered you. We've got our jobs, and, uh, well, you understand, this is a big star and a big glamour puss. Yeah, big, big. Come on. Imagine that, you and Dee Dee. Yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> That'd be like trying to lasso a tiger with a wet noodle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose your head. It's only a few days till Halloween. <laughs> well, it's not that wild, is it? Oh, darling, it just suddenly struck me so funny. Well, you don't have to make it sound like it's that impossible. Just because a lot of water's flowing under the bridge doesn't mean the lake's dried up. Oh, of course not, sweetheart. <laughs> Gloria Morgan thinks I've still got it. At our last cocktail party, she trapped me in the rumpus room and... Wouldn't let me go until I laid a little kiss on her. Well, don't let it go to your head. She drools over her cockle spaniel, too. Oh, but I think you're wonderful, too. Why don't you try trapping me in the rumpus room? <sighs> you haven't kissed me like that in a long time. You haven't stepped on my toe like that in a long time. Yeah, but it's not easy getting a kiss around here these days. The kids take notes and Lily hands us a critique. Oh, you're right. We don't ever seem to have any privacy anymore. Yeah, you don't realize those kids you used to bounce on your knee have suddenly turned into an audience. But, hey, why don't we chuck the whole thing out the window? The children? The whole routine right now. Let's take off for the lake. I'll hang a little sign on the office door. Gone fishing. What are you doing? I'm just digging the bait. Uh, sounds heavenly, but... But what? We haven't been away together for a long time, and what a spot to catch up on togetherness. But I've got so many things to do, the children... Lily will feed them, and they'll have all next week to recover. Darling, with the ladies' aid, I have to go to the hospital and practice making beds. Why don't we unmake a few? Hmm? What about Mildred Shower? She's getting married. She's old enough to take it alone. On the PTA this afternoon. What about their big drive? What about mine? I'll work it out. Hey, and take the black nightgown. The heater's not connected yet. I'll leave a note for the kids just in case they notice we're missing. New Tom Mead, sportsman, lover. Hey, I got one. Come on, you baby. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Round salmon. Hello? Hello, Monsieur Tomid. It is I, Didi. Didi? Hello. Hello, Monsieur Tomid. Shh. Hello. Oh, I hope you're not angry with me. Oh, no. Why'd you have to call me? I mean, here. I mean, it's nice to hear from you. Imagine making waves at his age. 
I had to call you. I'm in trouble. You're in trouble? You stay on this line much longer, we can start a club. Where are you? Well, like you told me, there is no phone in the cabin, so I had to drive down all the way from the mountain to call. Do you know what? The stove doesn't work and there's no gas. How can I make breakfast? Well, the stove is butane and... Breakfast? Tomorrow morning? In the cottage? But you're so nice, you know, and I hate to complain. Oh, no, but look, you can't. I mean, she can't. I mean, why do you always have to think about food? I didn't send you up there just to eat. On an empty stomach yet. But I don't understand, Monsieur Tommy. You were such a darling, and now you want me to go without breakfast? I don't know what I want. Yes, I do. But you can't hang around up there. I've got other plans. But I have no place to go, Monsieur Tommy, and you promised that I could stay in your place. And aren't you my friend any longer? Sure, you're my friend. But if you stay up there, you'll be the only one I've got. All right, then. I leave tomorrow morning, if that's what you want. No, no, you can't. It, it, look, you just stay put and I'll be up there. We'll make some new plans. No, no, Monsieur Tomid. No new plans, please. See, I'm, I'm still so tired from yesterday, last night, that I just want to take a bath and take a sleeping pill and sleep until tomorrow. No, no. We've got to take care of something else that comes first. That's keeping your eye on the old bull, Charlie. Look, I'll be up there in about an hour if I can tie up a few loose ends. Without getting caught in them. Whew. I'll give up two weeks' salary if you'll have a five-minute talk with my boyfriend. Look, I've got enough problems without you. Huh? Ah, uh -uh. better be nice to me or I'll break your bicycle, Speedy. Speedy? Say, were you that click on the phone just now? No, I was the gas, but you're clicking pretty good. With your action, you ought to put in a French phone. What do you mean? Is it true that doctors recommend it for men over 35? Ooh, I am so hungry. <laughs> Come here, will you? You little living FBI. I'll have you know I had nothing to do with that gal. Nothing? Well, I fed her. Oh, with a spoon. Oh, take it easy, will you? So now you know she's up there. Now I'll tell you, I also invited Martha to go up there with me today, too. Oh, tell me more, Solomon. You want to get your money out of that property, don't you? Yes. You want to help me get it off our hands so I can dump it on some other unsuspecting jerk, don't you? Right. Well, Dee is the magic word. And I'm going to need help. The whole thing sounds underhanded, disgraceful, and messy. And you can count on me. All packed, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm, that presents a problem. Problem? Was that the call you just got? What call? Oh, yeah, the phone. <laughs> That's right. The phone call. How'd you guess? Well, it was from a, uh, a ranger. I think he means a stranger. I do not. I mean a ranger. It could be a strange ranger. Maybe it was Tonto. Why don't you get lost? Somewhere in the Alps. Why would a ranger be calling you? Yeah. Yeah, well, he was going by the cottage and guess what he saw? No, don't guess. You're too good at that. Tom, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen you so upset. Well, sure I'm upset. It's the cottage and after all the plans we made. Pow! The hot water boiler went. Just like that. Oh, and there's busted pipes and water all over the place. And I got to get up there. And there goes our weekend. Oh, dear. Well, not the whole weekend. I'll just get you know, up there and clear away the mess. And, uh, well, we'll go up there Saturday, just like we planned. I'm ready. I could come along and help. Oh, no, I wouldn't let you. Besides, I'll be in enough hot water all by myself. Well, I guess Saturday's better than not at all. And I do have PTA today. Yeah, it's better to wait. And besides, you you just had your hair done. I'll take your bag back. What do you mean, what? Do a follow-up on this real estate man. Just keep giving out news releases. Dream them up, anything, everything. Okay, fine. Morning, DJ. That's your opinion? 
All right, now, how long is this going to keep on? This kidnap, this foul play garbage? D.G., <laughs> this is beautiful publicity. For beautiful publicity, I've got a beautiful publicity department. I want her. Relax, my friend, relax. Give the star a chance to be temperamental. She'll come back. She always does. But as long as she's gone, let's take advantage. Advantage? Mm -hmm. You know how much your advantage is costing me? $18,000 a day with a cast and crew standing around and stages waiting. But no more. It's all your fault, Peppy. If you didn't always get yourself involved personally with these stars, we wouldn't have these problems. So she ran out on you? So you're going to do something about it. And now, wherever she is, you go find her. Do you want me to go after her? You get the idea. Well, I never stooped to going after her yet, but... That's what you want? That's what I want. It's against my better judgment. I know these cookies. Now you get out there where they spotted her and check everybody out. The grocer, the butcher, the milkman, and this real estate guy they talk about in here. What do we know about him? Maybe he wrote her a hot fan letter that got to her. Elizabeth Dunning, charter me a plane to Rocky Point, Oregon. I'm leaving at once. All I ask is that someday they invent a way we can make pictures without actors. All I ask is that she cooperate, but not too much. Pardon me, I need this more than you do. Hi there. Oh, Lily, would you be a dear and just make dinner for the children tonight and be sure that they get to bed on time? Well, Tom's up at the cottage, and after the hours he's putting in out there, I'm sure he'll be exhausted. Yes, he'll be that. So I thought I'd go up and join him. Join him? Up there? Well, we'll be through here in about half an hour, which will give me plenty of time to put dinner on up there. We'll be through here in about ten minutes. Oh, good. I just wanted you to know, Lily, we may not feel like coming home tonight. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I think it'll be a nice change and sort of a surprise. Bye. She's going to find out there's a difference between surprise and shock. Monsieur Tom Eat. Whatever you're doing, don't get up. I don't believe it. She must take a shower sometime. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Mademoiselle Dee Dee. Darling. We. Oui? Why don't you get out of there and slip into something less comfortable? Oh, no. Sleep. Didi wants to sleep until tomorrow morning. Put Didi to bed. No, no. Have you been taking sleeping pills? You have been taking sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. Boy, what a setup. Chicken Delight and Big Chicken. Boy, if this was one of your movies, what would they do? Well, we better forget that. Here, let me help you. You have another one, don't you? Another one. Oh, I'm sorry. Monsieur oh, Tommy, but I want to sleep. I could use a little help. Sleep. This is no time to yell. Sleep. Come. You got your heavy underwear on? What? Monsieur Tommy! What? Monsieur Tommy! 
I'll get the coffee. I'll get you. throat. Boy, and what a throat. Sugar and cream, s'il vous plaît, monsieur. Oh, great. How about some crepes, Suzette? Don't jump to any conclusions. I didn't come up here to clean the place. Why should you change your habits just for me? What did you come up for? With your schedule, you're going to have to start printing a timetable. Martha's on her way. So that's her. Well, I'd recognize her bubbles anywhere. But what's she doing like that? Well, can't you see? She's rinsing out a few things. Martha's on her way where? I'd say to Reno by way of this cottage. Coming up here? Oh, we got to wake her up. Yeah, let her advertise her movie somewhere else. She took a sleeping pill and she's out. So are you if you don't get her out of here. Wait a minute. The trouble with men is they don't understand what makes a woman tick. This one ticks like a time bomb. Now, any woman who carries sleeping pills has got to carry pep pills. And here they are. Oh, Lily, I could almost kiss you. <sighs> I said almost. She's not waking up. Give her a little time. She will. Well, we got to get her dressed and out of here. Quick, in the bedroom. Yeah. You take the safe hat. I don't think she has a safe hat. Here. Get on. Here. Grab her. Now pull. Oh. There you are. Oh. There you are. Now. Oh. Bend over. Oh. Grab her. Oh. There. There you are. Now get her. There you oh. Are. Uh, oh. Now we got her. Ah. There we are. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. There you go. Oh. There we go. We got her. Oh. All right. Oh, aren't you going to help? I'd like to, but I got a hangnail. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, what are you doing? I'm steering. Don't give up. Please. Give me a hand. Don't press your luck. There. Wipe her bubbles off and get something on her. And once and for all, I just want to tell you, no matter how it looks, I really... Sick. Lily! It's Martha. Oh, your time schedule's off again. Yeah, we gotta hide bubbles. Here, bend over. There. Hold her. Wait, wait a minute. Here. Here, throw her out the window. There you are. Right there. No, no, hold her. Wait, I got Here, lay her right down. There you are. Sleep, sleep. She might think it's funny if she found me here, too. See ya. Right. of you. I knew it. That's why I'm here. Oh, you poor darling, look at you. 
You're all worn out and soaking wet. Well, we almost had a nasty accident. <laughs> uh, your wife is going to cook you a good dinner. You want to cook dinner? Oh, that'll be wonderful. Come on, right to the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Right and, out. You know, I don't know any reason why we have to leave until tomorrow. You don't? Uh, oh, no, of course not. Well, but do you think we should stay with all the mess and everything? First things first. And the first thing in order I'm going to fix is a nice drink. A drink. What's that? Oh, that's just a bed. Why is it down? Well, that's the way it is. It goes up and down. Were you planning on sleeping here tonight? Well, actually, I hadn't planned on it, but I thought maybe. Maybe somehow that I'd come up and surprise you. You guessed it. Mental telepathy. No, it's not. It's that we're so well suited to each other, we think alike. Well, that's exactly what I would have said if I thought. <laughs> but leaving the kids there with that undomesticated domestic... Lily's done it before, and you know she's perfectly capable. So just relax. Yeah, relax. You too. Whoops. Vermouth? It's in the cabinet next to the refrigerator. And you have to go to the village for ice. Let me get it for you. There you are. There's the vermouth. Nice to have a man around the house. <laughs> it's nice to have a woman. It's nice to be alone. Mm-hmm. You really think we ought to stay? I still think the place isn't ready. The back door doesn't close all the way. You're liable to wake up next to a bear. Really? That's one chance in a million. Yeah, those are my odds, too. Here we are, just the way you like it. One dash of bitterness. Oh, great. To my wife, the only girl in the house, the world. Oh, that's sweet. What oh. was that? That's a nervous bed. It works by itself. Say, how about that food? I'm famished. Coming right up. All right, that's wonderful. with some uh, candied yams and French peas. French peas? That... Get a French tomato here. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Great. Practically on the fire. Yeah, yeah. That... Thank you. Tom! How's your drink? Darling, I have a little dividend for you. Oh, you have? Oh, be right there. Where's your glass? Oh, it's right here. Another little blast can't hurt. 
Oh, you're wonderful. That was me. You got me excited. Oh. Keep the thought. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to hurt yourself? Oh, I need the exercise. I'm trying to lose 110 pounds. <laughs> hey, and speaking of Larry, uh, don't you think we're kind of selfish? I mean, being up here all alone, the two of us, and leaving the kids back there? For goodness sake, Tom. Of course we have an obligation to the children, but aren't we entitled to be happy too? Happy? Yeah, yeah, let's dance. to be happy. But not slap happy. <laughs> if you don't like the way I dance, I'll do a solo. Tom, I'm beginning to think you need more than a few days rest. Yeah, maybe I need a refill. How about mixing up a batch, huh? before I got here. No, no, the altitude gives me a head start. Well, after a good dinner, you'll feel much better. <laughs> what was that? Hmm? It sounded like a woman screaming. No, no, it's the, uh, it's the coyote. <laughs> it's the mating season. Oh, it certainly sounded like a woman screaming to me. Yeah, they do. We won't have to worry about the pipes or the hot water or the... Or the what? Or the rats. 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 Ah, you dirty rat. You dirty rat. Think I got him. I got him. There you are. As big as a moose. There. I just hope he doesn't come back with his in-laws. until Saturday after we've had an exterminator. Oh, I'm not going to let you stay here with those big rats running around. One bite and you're a basket case. You put that food away and we'll get going. we got to go home. But Tom... No, it'll be much healthier. I'll get the traps to uh, keep the rats out. Oh. Oh, you no, get no. away from me. No, you can't go in there. Oh, yes, I can. I just want to get my clothes and get out of here. You find Barry in you. Oh, shh. No, my wife's in there. Your wife? Yeah. Huh? Nobody brings a wife to a place like this. Shh, I know, no, I know. let me go! No, okay. Let me go! Let me go, you, 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 Let me go, you! This is in the interest of peace. Good. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, I'm so glad I remembered. Rats or not. Rats or not what? The drapes. Uh, what about them? I've got to get the measurements. Measurements? Okay. There you are. 36, 24, 36. Are you all right? Huh? The drapes. Oh, oh the drapes, yeah. I'll get a pencil. Let me out! Good. to get me out of here in such a hurry. Why am I trying to get you out of here in such a hurry? I'm sorry, but I asked you first. I only want you to get home before the rush hour. Rush hour in Rocky Point? I mean, I want you to get home and rush the children right over to some friends for overnight. Then we can let Lily off and you and I can have late dinner, just the two of us. And we can eat it just like they did in Tom Jones. What's wrong with a man loving his wife? He could start a trend. Well, I'm not knocking it. I like it only. I'll be starting out in just a couple minutes, right behind you. So you drive, you drive carefully, and uh, don't don't worry about a thing. Just take it easy. I, I think it's flooded. Flooded? Flooded? You've got to have gas in the tank before you can flood it. You forgot to fill it again. Boy, if ever you want to save money, just give your wife a gasoline credit card. Be careful. Oh, there's nothing to it. It's just the trick of not swallowing it. Take the cap off. Oh, Tom. Hold this. I gotta go fireproof my tonsils. wondering who that is. That rat tough. There's only one big rat around here. Martha. Dee Dee. Hey. But Martha, wait a minute. Let me explain. You don't understand. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. You. No, not me. Not anymore. You gotta talk to her. I never talk to women. You gotta. Please. Just put yourself in my position. Like you're a man. Well, you can try. Listen, all I want you to do is go home with me and tell my wife I didn't do anything. Didn't do anything, huh? And this? And this is nothing? All right, you got mud on you, and I'm sorry, but... And you pushed me under houses, and I had spiders crawling all over my face. You locked me in the cellar and shoved me down a mountain. What do you think I am? A stunt woman? Uh, 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 uh. 
Shoot, you torpedoed my marriage. I have nothing else to live for. One step closer, I warn you. Who cares? You mean you're willing to die just because that woman who saw us together was your wife? Was, that's the word. Oh, you love her so much. What are you going to do? Oh, but this is incredible. This is... Fantastic to be loved like this. So beautiful. Yeah. Well, let's make it real beautiful and you just go and tell her, huh? Yes, right away, immediately. It's Dee Dee. What'd they tell you? I found her. It's her, the French bomber. Dee Dee, I've seen her once in an adult picture only. Hey, Scram, get out of here. Go with the Redwood. Communists. Those boys have been recognized, and now Pepper will find me. Yeah, but what about my wife? I, I read her letter, I promise. A letter? Yes. But wait a minute. <laughs> that thing was loaded? Oh, I wish I had time, I think. Martha when she got home. She was so mad at you, I couldn't tell. Well, at least she still loves me enough to hate me. Boy, you gotta help me. I'm in the spot. The word is crick, and you're not in it. You're up it. That's the man. That's the man. Don't you know it's not polite to point? Mr. Mead, uh... The scouts have identified you as having spent the afternoon with the broad, uh, the actress, up in the mountains. I just flew up from Hollywood, Mr. Mead. If you can tell us where we can find our star, the studio and I would be extremely grateful, if you know what I mean. Yeah, all of a sudden there's no trace of her. Well, I was with her this afternoon. Are you where? Then uh, where oh. is she? <coughs> Please, you're bending my Adam's apple. Mr. Please. Mr. Fulton. Oh, Mr. Fulton. <coughs> Please. Oh. Oh, thanks a lot. <coughs> well, I don't know where she is. She drove off in her car somewhere. Uh-huh. But you see, uh, the scouts were down on the lake road, and they only saw one car go by. Yours. So you wouldn't mind driving up there and pointing out the last place you saw her? But she's not up there. Sure I mind. Well, let's take your car. Mr. Bates? What was that all about, Mom? Hey, what the police want with Dad? Nothing. Nothing. Please go back and do your homework. That's all, son. See, your car is gone. 
But look around. Maybe you'll agree that the investment in this end of the lake wouldn't be... Would... Well, I thought as long as you're up here in your business, I'd bring up mine. Well, you don't mind us taking a look around for ourselves, do you? No. Hey! Hey! Hey, one of the boys found this. Is it anything? Woman's scarf. Where'd you find this? Floating down there. What were you doing, helping a little old lady across the lake? This is Diddy's. Show me where you found it. Come. Why don't we all have a look, Mr. Reed? Yes, sir. I found it right there. What's that? It's an automobile aerial. Could be a fishing pole. Tire tracks. Oh, now, wait a minute. You don't think that I, she, Yes, we do think that you, she. Well, that's a lie. We did not. You did not what? We did not, I, she. You gonna drag the lake for her body? I'll get on the radio. We'll need a tow truck, skin divers, boats, and grappling hooks. We'll just take a little return to the scene of the crime, and you tell us all about it. <laughs> This looks like a battleground. Yeah, uh, what's been going on here? Well, my wife and I like a place with that lived-in look. Yeah? What's this gun doing here? Oh, that? Why, you don't know what you have to go through to sell a place like this. This thing's been fired recently. Yeah, very recently. You shot her? Oh, I did not. It went off accidentally. I, I was cleaning it, and I just happened to leave one shell in the chamber. <laughs> well... Two shells. We're all through the long night, exhausted men have been vainly dragging the lake. And skin divers are now probing the cold, shuddering depths. Somewhere down there lies the lovely body of the divine Dee Dee, who bathed her way to fame and fortune and into the hearts of movie audiences throughout the world. You can't go home without a Dee Dee photograph. Thank you, sir. That's 50 cents, sir. Just a minute, I'll give you a change, sir. There you are. All right, hurry, hurry. We only have a few left of the Dee Dee photographs. Everybody take one home. Oh, Mommy, I want to go swimming. You're not going swimming with her in there. All right, only a few choice items left. Actual possessions from the home of the suspected murderer, used by him in his everyday life before he decided to become a sex killer. Own his very necktie, his ashtray, his hammer, his saw. Possibly even the instrument he used to do the dastardly crime. Ideal gifts for weddings, birthdays, Christmas. Really? How could you? Listen, we're going to need every penny we can get for that last-minute appeal to the governor. Oh, Lily. Step right this way, folks. Neckties, ashtray, hammer, saw. How sad and tragic to think she has taken her last bath here in the waters of Crystal Lake. While only a few yards from where I stand is the love nest to which her love-crazed sweetheart lured her. And where even now the police are wringing the sordid details from a man who can only be described as bloodthirsty. Look, can I have a drink? I'm thirsty. First, where did you hide that body? Body? What body? I never laid a hand on anybody's body. Why would I want to hurt her? I barely knew her. I mean, I hardly knew her. You knew her all right. Well enough to kill her. You went berserk, right? Insane! I'm as sane as you are. Saner. 
Please, can I have a drink of water? We know you killed her and disposed of the body. You're a homicidal mad dog murderer. Hey! I think they found her! Easy, Joe, easy. She was so beautiful. Such a tragedy. Here she comes. Oh, car seat. Who parked her car in a drink? You did. Who saw her last? Well, you did. Who killed her? Oh. You did. But I told you I wouldn't do a thing like that. Just because I happened to be out with her and I was the last person who... Now, wait a minute. You don't have anything on me. No, but I think we got something on your rug. What does that look like to you, Sean? Blood. Fresh blood. Her blood. That's nothing. She just cut herself while we were having our little fight. Well, it wasn't really a fight. It... Oh, come on now, please. How many more hours are you going to go on like this? Why would I want to kill a woman? Any woman? I haven't even murdered my maid. You think you've been through something. Now you're really going to start to sweat. I'm going to sweat. Can I at least have a drink of water? We know what you did. You made that poor girl fall in love with you, didn't you? Didn't you? No. Why did you do it? Why? But Why? I didn't. I keep telling you and telling you. I didn't. I phoned my wife at the hotel and the switchboard was drying out and the chicken put me through to the wrong number. To her. To Dee Dee. You made her come all the way from Hollywood to plead with you to do the right thing by no. her. The manly, no, the gentlemanly thing. No, I and didn't. you laughed at her. You no. even put her up in this love nest of no, yours. Oh, no. And she pleaded with you, begged you. But you wouldn't listen. And when she threatened to tell your wife and the world, you killed her. No, I didn't do it. I wouldn't do it. No, no. Yeah. You carried her down to the lake. And you put her in a rowboat. And rode out to deep water. You made sure she'd never be seen again. First you tied an anchor to it. There you threw her in. It sank down. And down. And down. And down. She tried to get away. But I caught her. Then I choked her. Then I hit her with a poke. Then I stabbed her. Then I tied rocks to her and I threw her in the lake. The lake. The lake. The lake. One leg's enough. Well, I guess that wraps this one up. Huh? Did you get the whole confession down? Confession? Confession of what? For killing Diddy, you murderer. Ah, oh, right. get him out of here. Hey, he just confessed. Hey, fellas, they got hey, a confession. Get out of here. Oh, get Take the get How about that stuff? Come on, come on. 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 Wow, you really must have been brainwashed. I'll fear Zane. Okay, close the door now. See that everything is all right. Hey, me. 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 What? Hey, hey, did me come out here? Me? No. Well, then he got away. Come on. Hey, he must have been the one that took the police car. Well, well let's go. Oh. What will they do to it? They'll think of something. And so will I.
Attention, all units. Attention. This is Lieutenant Schwartz. Murder suspect Thomas Mead has just escaped Crystal Lake area. All units advance with caution. The stolen police car is heavily armed. And Mead is considered unbalanced, cunning, and dangerous. At least he didn't say homicidal. And homicidal. Car 17, proceed north to point O. Car 14, proceed south to intercept at intersection. Well, what a way to feel wanted. I'll throw a scare into him with a couple of tracers. They think I don't know how to shake him. Now, her They sure know how to shake me. Fuzz in my tail than a French poodle. Chase me, will you? <laughs> We've lost him. No, we didn't. There are three police cars following us. Oh, no, you don't. Happy little smog maker, you. Oh. To operate, hold firmly in throwing hand, then pull ring seat, and we went darn tape. And throw. <laughs> throw. At once. At once. That's now. Oh. Boy, ceiling zero, and I'm not even up there. inside a car. If 
I could only get rid of these canned clouds. Oh. Who's that? It is I, Dee Dee. Dee Dee? Where are you? I'm here. Well, where's here? Or shouldn't I ask? Hey, Dee Dee, you're alive. Hey, hey, she's alive. Stop shooting. She's right here. She's not dead. shoot to kill. Okay, I give up. I've, I've had it. Where's Lawrence Welk? That's... Oh. Okay, I give up. Don't shoot. I'm clean, I tell you. I know where she is. You don't have to worry about a thing. Everything's fine. Look, oh, please, no. she's just... Oh, no. Listen to me, please, no. Miss but, lady, look, please, lady. I got news please. for you. Lady, you, please. Listen to me, will you, please? please, 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 please. She's right. She's... No more bubble bath! Please. Never again, no matter what the producer says, no more bubble baths for my little wife. Oh, Pam, Pam. <laughs> oh, 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 my. You, if you're looking for another bubble girl, I'm ready. <laughs> 